Yo, beer digesters. We're looking at the Les Trois Mousquetiers, a French Canadian brewery, their Saison Brett tonight, part of their Or Serie, Serie or something, special beers. And this one is a completely oak fermented Saison with Brettanomyces. I assume since they call it a Saison, they use Saison yeast and also Brettanomyces yeast. And this one is brewed with Pilsner malt, oat, rye, and wheat. Nice and malty grain, like a uh, Saison should be. It's 7% alcohol. There's, I haven't found anything on the bottle that says anything about the date. It was bottled or when it was brewed or anything. They do tell you a lot of information, though, about like the original gravity, final gravity, SRM, bitterness, 35 IBUs. And they use pearl and chinook hops, and they dry hop it with chinook. But I have a feeling this is at least several months old because it's been around New England since the beginning of this winter, and I've I've never seen it anywhere before. I've had some other beers by Les Trois Mousquetaires. Um, their Gosa is a very nice traditional style Gosa, and this is very different from anything I've seen by them. Um, they say it's ageable up to a year, probably more, but if it's very highly dry hopped, it's probably not going to be that great after a year. But Chinook is kind of a weird hop dry hop with, at least by American standards who want fruity and resinous uh, hops. I guess Chinook is resinous, but there's it's not nearly as bright and juicy and fruity as other hops. Got a nice cork and cage on here. And it's stuck in there really well. They say it has flavors of fresh hay, lemon, wildflowers, and leather. And in parentheses, Brettanomyces after leather. And the slightly sour element, they say, I guess it just comes from aging the the brett in there with the oak and a little bit of air getting in there so the brett can make some acid. This cork is really stuck in there. There's a nice pop. It smells good. Um, but it did not foam up or anything. Ooh, it smells actually pretty funky. Head's a little bit spritzy. Probably gonna be rather acidic. Lots of carbonation though. Lots, lots of tiny bubbles. And I can just smell a little bit of acid. Definitely Brettanomyces oak. Not sure about the hopping. Oh yeah, there's some sort of grassy resinous hop thing going on, but definitely lemony, I smell tea, maybe like green and black tea, it's floral, and the bubbles are just very constant, pretty fast, maybe you can see them there, I hold it real close, it's a pretty well made beer, but it seems like it's going to be rather acidic for something that you just call a Brett Saison, sometimes those aren't going to be acidic at all, but adding, having the oak age element in this definitely will bring that out. The aroma is very strong, a little bit goozy, maybe more like a Petrus aged pale type of thing, a Belgian beer that's just aged in uh, barrels to get really sour, but it's not particularly like a Gouza or Lambic type. Well, this is definitely inspired by those and some of the funkier saisons. And it's got a little bit of lacing. It's not totally dying down from acidity, but definitely a lemony quality. Some leathery, musty Brettanomyces, but it's, there's enough fruitiness to keep it light and seem, seem fresh. I don't get any unpleasant old hop quality in there, which makes me think this is probably a no more than like six months old, maybe. Mm. 
but I'm enjoying the aroma quite a bit, and there's no overly boozy, weird, medicinal, phenol sort of thing going on. This lovely, fresh, grassy, fruity Brettanomyces, and a little bit of tart lemon. Maybe a, a, a touch of apple cider vinegar, but not that bad. Not very acetic acidy. Just a little bit. Ooh. Mm. Just a little bit of sweetness, so it's not too tart. Mm. And yeah, though the touch of multi sweetness really helps bring out some. Uh, some fruits that are a little bit like it's, it's a little bit more like honey and I'm not, quite, I'm not sure if it's quite tropical fruits maybe just a very light tart cherry and I don't know if it's if I would say pineapple with this mm. but pears yeah definitely some pears and a touch of tart apple Maybe it's more like a, a little bit of a sort of unripe peach thing that's happening. A little more sort of stone fruit. Not quite mango. But very soft and somewhat juicy. Only lightly tart mouthfeel. It handles all the funky Breton oak. And the finish isn't too, too tannic. It's really well made. Mm. I'm getting a little bit of the oaky tannins right now. Almost, yeah, there's a little bit of a vanilla from the oak that actually helps bring out some of those orchard fruits the Breton Mices are coming, bringing to play. Mm. That's very nice. It's. It's a lot like some other Saison Bretts I've had, but the oak and the slight tartness really brings it up a notch and make it a lot more complex. And it's a very beautiful beer. Even with the tartness, keeping a little ring of head on there and constant and beautiful tick, uh, tickly natural carbonation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's soft and just a little coating of malt on the tongue, but but a little prickly. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And I think their use of a, <clears throat> what was that, the Chinook, a kind of earthy, resinous tea, only slightly citrusy hop, works really well with the retinomyces and the oak to only underline them and not sort of pull them somewhere else or something or over overbear it a little bit it, it still tastes um very much like a tr sort of traditional saison um at its heart mm. and this would go very nicely with charcuterie or some funky cheeses and some breads and just all those things that use similar yeasts and maybe sort somewhat similar ingredients to this And the oat, rye, and wheat aren't at the fore, but it helps to create the multi-grain sort of complexity of malt flavor. Um, it helps at least some malt flavor to, to stand out amongst all of the uh, the yeast, uh, yeasty, hoppy, oakiness that's happening in here. It's really up front and taking over, but then there's just a little bit of a of a crackery. Um, weedy, um, the oats, I don't know if it necessarily tastes very much, but they probably help with the mouth feel a little bit, so that it's not super thin like, uh, some oak-aged sour beers can seem a little bit, because it gets so dry. And it's just so light and fluffy on the tongue. But not watery, there's... Now I'm getting a little bit of a sort of a lemon, only slight pine, and that's what I like a lot. Is that the the Chinook didn't bring out too much of an earthy bitter pine 
sappy bark sort of quality, which I really do not enjoy when you overuse really uh, piney, uh, like dry, needly, foresty hops. Um, maybe also like Centennial sometimes, when Centennial is not super fresh, it tends to lose its fruitiness and just be too much just like licking the forest floor. This is not that. This is staying out maybe perhaps in the wildflower fields down <coughs> downwind from a, a farm. It's very nice. Um, it's like there's nothing sort of off kilter with this beer. They, they did a great job. I'm very surprised. Well, not very surprised, but very pleasant. Very impressed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, some people said that it was too tart. Some people were kind of confused, it seemed like, with this beer. But I feel like this doesn't, beer hasn't fallen in the hands of a lot of people who know how to appreciate it, maybe. Um, but I, I love it a lot. I think it's pretty good price. It was like 16 bucks, 15, 16 bucks for a you know, slightly delicately dry hopped oak age, slightly sour Brett Saison. It's not really a bad deal. I, I like this beer a lot. I'm going to... I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. It's, it's really good. I might have to get another bottle of this and age it and see what happens. Though it's just very good and fresh, right now. And uh, yeah, it's it's great. So, Les Trois Mousquetaires, Saison Brett. Nine out of ten.